right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for three more rounds of Muay Thai action in the 118 division. Fighting out of the red corner tonight, she's wearing the silver trunks and weighing in at 118 pounds. Representing Matador Muay Thai with an 0-2 record from Astoria, New York, Anna Maldonado. And fighting out of the blue corner, she's wearing the white trucks and representing Seton Jim with a record of one and two from right here, Queens, New York, Hannah Ryu. Okay, both been given your rules. Give me a good, clean fight, obey my commands at all times, defend yourself at all times. If I tear to break, break clean, do you understand? Do you understand? Touch gloves, come out fighting. So we turn to the ladies for the first time tonight at 118 pounds. We'll see 29-year-old Hannah Ryu going up against 32-year-old Anna Maldonado. Maldonado making her first appearance on Friday Night Fights. She's wearing the black top and silver fatigue trunks. Hannah Ryu in the white trunks with black top. It's a modified rules Muay Thai matchup, so no elbows in play. Maldonado in search of her, her first victory. Hannah Ryu in search of win number two. Last time out, she picked up her first win. That was May 11th against Belinda Sal at Lucky Strike Manhattan. So Ryu coming off a long layoff. Meanwhile, Maldonado has fought within the last three weeks. Nice teeth by Maldonado. And return fire from Ryu. Can't tell, you know, you can't generalize. Mexican fighters are known for their boxing and for their chin but I'm not sure if that's going to be Maldonado's strength tonight. Maldonado representing Matador Muay Thai in Astoria, trains under crew Alfonso Damian. And on the other side, Ryu in the white trunks. She's out of Seton Jim and also in Queens. And Maldonado's bloodied up, but she looks game. She's answering back hard when she is throwing that right hand. I like to see her get comfortable, plant her feet, and, and throw that leather. Blood trickling from Maldonado's nose here. Ryu landing a couple of flush shots. Ryu also working well in the clinch there. Draws a breakup from Kevin Mulhall, our referee. And Ryu is just coming forward, relentless, moving forward, forward pressure. And it seems to be overwhelming Maldonado. A Seton fighter often does come forward. Hannah tra trains under Aziz Nabi and Joel Estevez. She's just walking her from rope to rope. And even the shots that Maldonado has gotten off look to be stifled because Ryu was just in her mug all through round number one. Impressive start for Hannah Ryu. Definitely impressive. She just moved forward, was relentless and in her face. And even if you're not throwing a lot, moving backwards and having someone in your face is mentally exhausting. And we'll see that effect come the second round. Ryu again, one and two. Her first victory coming back in May. That was her last fight. Took place on Friday Night Fights. Aldonado, meanwhile, her first appearance on this promotion. She's looking for her first career victory and tasting her own blood in the opening two minutes as Ryu landed a straight punch to the nose and got some blood to trickle down. We got Bear Burger in here tonight. Right in the back corner, man. So going, getting, getting set for our second round of action here at 118 pounds. Ariel Agami ringside at the Broad Street Ballroom with Mike Tirico, the machine. Four-time WKA national champion, serving as my broadcast partner tonight, Primo Bellarosa, along a bit later. Here we go in round two. And a big shot from Ryu to open things up here. Big overhand landed. Maldonado trying to load up with the body kick, but she walks right into a left hand from Ryu. And Maldonado's really just fighting off her back foot, and it is tough to be offensive just moving backwards the whole time. Some fighters can if you're a counter striker, but just not working for it tonight. Down they go. The Seton fighter Ryu in the white trunks has literally not taken a step back 
through the first round plus of this fight. And she lands a left hand there. When you establish that early on, it's almost just like Maldonado's waiting for her to come forward. Now, good shot from Maldonado, straight right hand. And, that's now, the, and like you said, that is the first time uh, Ryu's actually backed up. Teep to the chin for Ryu. A little more blood coming out of Ana's nose here. Body kick caught by Ryu as she charges forward. You can get and one step, and that's why this ref is warning her. Kevin Mulhall issues the warning. A couple of teep tries from Maldonado. And Maldonado really just using that teep uh, to, to slow down Ryu. It could be a little bit more offensive, like Ryu's using it right there. And Ryu landed a one-two combo, then finished with a teep. Ryu is doing some damage to Maldonado's face here, but finally she backs up just for a moment. Maldonado kind of sticks in place, though, and there's the bell in round two. I think a little frustration there from Maldonado down the stretch of that round, Mike. Yeah, definitely frustrated. She did have a little bit more success towards the end of that round with her right hand. Not sure if Ryu's slowing down a bit, and that's why it's finding a home, or she's just getting her timing, but... She's down two rounds to nothing right now. And that was how Ryu opened the second round with authority. And after Alfonso Damian cleaned up on his face in the corner between the first and second rounds, Ryu got her right back bloodied up with some good leather work throughout that second round. But I forgot to mention about Burger. So one round to go, and there's the teep at the end of the combination for Ryu. Really nice. So it's been a long layoff for Ryu. Hasn't fought in about nine months, but she looks pretty sharp here tonight. And you would expect nothing less from a Seton product. Joel Estevez and Aziz Nabi in her corner. On the other side, the right side of your screen, Ana Maldonado from Matador Muay Thai in Astoria, coached by Cruel Alfonso Damian. And Rio but, comes charging straight across the ring. And again, a big shot to open up the round from Ryu and blood pouring out of the nostrils of Maldonado again. Ryu looking for an opening with those knees. Maldonado blocking most of them, but Ryu was the one throwing the shots and the two ladies nearly tumbled through the ropes. Maldonado reaching down here. She knows she needs to do something big to come away with a victory. Maldonado trying to create space with that knee, but it's put her in a bad position. I can see Rio just pivot back and, and dump her on her back. Again, Ryu coming forward, flashes a smile. Yeah, Ryu, Ryu looks like she's having fun, and it's a little bit easier in there when you're up two rounds to none. Maldonado did find a home with the right hand, but it's been one and done for Maldonado so far. Yeah, she's not doing much to set it up. She's just throwing it out there. Sometimes it lands, most times it's not. Can Hannah Ryu in the white trunks, Ana Maldonado in the gray and black pattern trunks. And Ryu's been in control for most of this fight. Maldonado has about 40 seconds left to do something and impress the judges or score a KO. And that right straight kick has landed several times for Rio over the course of this fight. Good leg kick. And now she's just smashing away. Ryu again putting all her weight on Maldonado. And again, the two women almost tumble through the ropes. And Maldonado bloodied up here in the final seconds. There is your bell. Ryu and Maldonado go the distance on Friday night fights, and it was a slugfest. It looked like Ryu got the best of that one. Definitely a slugfest. These girls put on a show tonight. But Ryu, obviously, you can tell by the face of these girls, did get the best of it. So Ryu makes her return to Friday night fights. She's been out of action since May, and obviously training very, very hard. And see, she walked right through a couple of nice right hands from Maldonado down the stretch in that third round. That has to be discouraging, just 
someone walking through your best shots that you're throwing. Indeed, Mike. It looked like Maldonado really started to find a, an attack mode there, but Ryu was just undeterred, and she was the one landing the bigger shots throughout the fight, more consistently at least. Steadily coming forward, throwing punches and bunches, setting up her kicks. And mix, yeah, mixing up those low leg kicks there as well, inside and outside. Yeah, she did everything right tonight. Uh, ring announcer Connor Hall tallying up the scorecards. We'll send it up to him for the official particulars. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we do have a winner, and we're going to the judges' scorecard. Judge A sees this 27-30 in favor of the blue corner. Judge B sees this 27-30 in favor of the blue corner. And Judge C sees this 28-29 in favor of our winner by unanimous decision, Hannah Ryu. So Hannah Ryu, dominant in her victory over Ana Maldonado.